हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जर्नी विथ विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट द टॉपिक इंटीग्रेटेड न्यूट्रिएंट मैनेजमेंट बिफोर प्रेजेंटेशन आई वुड लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ आई एम विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव आई हैव डन एम एस एग्रीकल्चर विथ स्पेशलाइज इन इकोनॉमी फ्रॉम जे बी पंत यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पंत नगर इन सो लेट्स प्रोसीड टू द प्रजेंटेशन वाट इज इंटीग्रेटेड न्यूट्रिएंट मैनेजमेंट इंटीग्रेटेड न्यूट्रिएंट मैनेजमेंट रिफर्स टू द मेंटेनेंस ऑफ सोयल फर्टिलिटी एंड ऑफ प्लांट न्यूट्रिएंट सप्लाई एट एन ऑप्टिमम लेवल फॉर सस्टेनिंग द डिजायर्ड प्रोडक्टिविटी थ्रू ऑप्टिमाइजेशन ऑफ द बेनिफिट्स फ्रॉम ऑल पॉसिबल सोर्सेज ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक इनऑर्गेनिक एंड बायोलॉजिकल कंपोनेंट्स इन एन इंटीग्रेटेड मैनर जुडिशियस कम्बिनेशन ऑफ इनऑर्गेनिक ऑर्गेनिक एंड बायो फर्टिलाइजर्स विच रिप्लेस द सॉइल न्यूट्रिएंट्स रिमूव्ड बाय द क्रॉप इज रिफर्ड एज इंटीग्रेटेड न्यूट्रिएंट मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम एज पर एफ ए फूड एंड एग्रीकल्चर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इंटीग्रेटेड प्लांट न्यूट्रिएंट मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम इज द मैनेजमेंट एंड कंजर्वेशन ऑफ नेचुरल रिसोर्स बेस एंड द ओरिएंटेशन ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजिकल एंड इंस्टीट्यूशनल एजेंसीज इन सच ए मैनर एज टू इंश्योर द अटेनमेंट एंड कंटिन्यूइंग सेटिस्फैक्शन ऑफ ह्यूमन नीड्स फॉर द प्रजेंट एंड फ्यूचर जेनरेशंस द एम ऑफ इंटीग्रेटेड न्यूट्रिएंट मैनेजमेंट इज टू इंटीग्रेट द यूज ऑफ नेचुरल एंड मैन मेड सॉइल न्यूट्रिएंट्स टू इंक्रीज क्रॉप प्रोडक्टिविटी एंड प्रिजर्व सॉइल प्रोडक्टिविटी फॉर फ्यूचर जेनरेशंस रेदर देन फॉक्सिंग न्यूट्रिएंट मैनेजमेंट प्रैक्टिस ऑन वन क्रॉप इंटीग्रेटेड न्यूट्रिएंट मैनेजमेंट एम्स एट ऑप्टिमल यूज ऑफ न्यूट्रिएंट सोर्सेस ऑन ए क्रॉपिंग सिस्टम और क्रॉप रोटेशन बेसिस दिस इंकरेजेज फार्मर टू फोकस ऑन लॉन्ग टर्म प्लानिंग एंड मेक ग्रेटर कंसिडरेशन फॉर इन्वायरमेंटल इम्पैक्ट्स इंटीग्रेटेड न्यूट्रिएंट मैनेजमेंट रिलीज ऑन ए नंबर ऑफ फैक्टर्स इंक्लूडिंग एप्रोप्रिएट न्यूट्रिएंट अप्लीकेशन एंड कंजर्वेशन and transfer of knowledge about integrated nutrient management practices to farmers and researchers boosting plant nutrients can be achieved by a range of practices such as terracing la cropping conservation tillage intercropping and crop rotation in addition to the standard selection and application of fertilizers integrated nutrient management practices include new techniques such as deep placement of fertilizers and the use of inhibitors or urea coatings that have been developed to improve nutrient uptake in case of urea coating the use of urea coating agent helps to retard the activity and growth of bacteria which are responsible for denitrification now here to study a scope of integrated nutrient management integrated nutrient management enables the adaptation of plant nutrition and soil fertility management in farming systems taking advantage of combined and harmonious use of organic inorganic and biological nutrient resources to serve the concurrent needs of food production and economic environmental and social viability integrated nutrient management empowers farmers by increasing their technical expertise and decision making capacity it also promotes changes in land use crop rotations and interactions between forestry livestock and cropping systems is part of agriculture intensification and diversification now we will study why is integrated nutrient management needed the increasing use of chemical fertilizers to increase the production of food and fiber is causing concern for the following regions like first one soils which receive plant nutrients only through chemical fertilizers are showing declining productivity despite being supplied with sufficient nutrients second the decline in productivity can be attributed to the appearance of deficiency in secondary and micronutrients third the physical condition of the soil is deteriorated as a result of long term use of chemical fertilizer especially the nitrogenous ones it also aggravates the problem of poor fertilizer nitrogen use efficiency and fourth is excess nitrogen use leads to groundwater and environmental pollution apart from destroying the ozone layer through into a production nitrous oxide production 
Now we will study about concept of integrated nutrient management. The basic concept underlying the integrated nutrient management system nevertheless remains the maintenance and possible improvement of soil fertility for sustained crop productivity on long term basis and also to reduce inorganic fertilizer input cost. There are three main components of integrated nutrient management systems. First one, maintain or enhance soil productivity through a balanced use of fertilizers combined with organic and biological sources of plant nutrients for regulated nutrient supply for optimum crop growth and higher productivity. Second, improve the stock of plant nutrients in the soil for improvement and maintenance of soil fertility. And third one, improve the efficiency of plant nutrients thus limiting losses to the environment and zero adverse impact on agro ecosystem quality. Now we will study about determinants which are the factors for the implementation of integrated nutrient management system. Developing an integrated nutrient management system for a particular crop sequence to a specific locations requires a thorough understanding of nutrient requirement of cropping system as a whole, second soil fertility status and a special management needed to overcome soil problems if any, third local availability of nutrient resources like organic, inorganic and biological sources and fourth economic conditions of farmers and profitability of proposed INM option, fifth social acceptability, sixth ecological considerations, seventh impact on the environment, eighth the effect of previous crop, ninth contribution of legume in the cropping system to increase soil fertility through nitrogen fixation, and tenth residual effect of fertilizers, and eleventh direct residual and cumulative effect of organic manures for supplementing and complementing the use of chemical fertilizers. So these are the factors which are determining the development of integrated nutrient management system in a particular area and particular crop. Now we will study about advantages of integrated nutrient management. First one, it enhances the availability of applied as well as native soil nutrients. Second, it synchronizes the nutrient demand of the crop with nutrient supply from native as well as applied sources. Third, it provides balanced nutrition to crops and minimizes the antagonistic effects resulting from hidden deficiencies and nutrient imbalance. Fourth, it improves and sustains the physical, chemical and biological functioning of soil. Fifth, it minimizes the deterioration of soil, water and ecosystem by promoting carbon sequestration, reducing nutrient losses to ground and surface water bodies to atmosphere. Sixth, it is playing important role in reducing nutrient losses to ground surface water bodies and atmosphere. Here to proceed a study of components of integrated nutrient management. First one is soil source. It plays role in mobilizing unavailable nutrients and to use appropriate crop varieties, cultural practices and cropping systems. Second is inorganic sources. As super granules, coated urea, direct use of locally available rock phosphate in acid soils, single superphosphate, myriad of potash and micronutrient fertilizers. Then organic sources, byproducts of farming and allied industries like farmyard manure, composts, vermicompost, droppings, crop waste, residue, sewage, sludge and industrial wastes. Then biological sources. Biofertilizer is rhizobium, azotovector, azospirillum, blue green algae, azotovector, azola, etc., and phosphobacteria, phosphate solubilizing bacteria, and mycorrhiza. And then green manuring, which is the incorporation of green manure crops and green leaf manuring. Next components are on site resource generation. On site generation of resources stipulates recycling of crop residues and animal manures. Then mobilization of off-site nutrient resources. The mobilization of off-site resources stipulates the addition of chemical nutrients from outside sources. Then resources integration. 
द रिसोर्सेस रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर ऑन साइट जनरेशन ऑफ न्यूट्रियट्स एंड एनर्जी हैव टू बी एप्रोप्रिएटली इंटीग्रेटेड विथ केमिकल फॉर्म्स ऑफ न्यूट्रियट्स एंड अदर मैनेजमेंट फैक्टर्स विच इनहेंसेस प्रोडक्टिविटी देन रिसोर्सेस मैनेजमेंट ऑल द रिसोर्सेस हैव टू बी एप्रोप्रिएटली मैनेज एट द ऑप्टिम लेवल ऑफ इफिशियंसी इन प्रैक्टिकल टर्म्स द इंटीग्रेटेड न्यूट्रिय सप्लाई सिस्टम स्टिपलेट्स द मैनेजमेंट ऑफ द फार्मिंग सिस्टम एज ए होल इन्वॉल्विंग कैटल पोल्ट्री एनिमल्स एंड प्लांट रिसोर्सेस एंड द यूज ऑफ केमिकल्स फॉर देयर कन्वर्जन इन टू फूड ग्रेन्स एंड अदर फॉर्म्स ऑफ फूड स्कीम्स लाइक द बैलेंस्ड एंड इंटीग्रेटेड यूज ऑफ फर्टिलाइजर्स हैव बीन डिजाइंड बाई गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया विद द एम ऑफ प्रोमोटिंग द यूज ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक मैन्योर्स एंड बायो फर्टिलाइजर्स द स्कीम इज ऑल्सो डिजाइन टू इनकरेज द प्रोसेसिंग एंड प्रोडक्शन ऑफ कंपोस्ट फ्रॉम अर्बन वेस्ट एंड बायो फर्टिलाइजर नव विल स्टडी वाई बैलेंस न्यूट्रिशन इज इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर सस्टेनेबल क्रॉप प्रोडक्शन इन इंटीग्रेटेड न्यूट्रिय मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम इफ द इकोनॉमी ऑफ कंट्री इज टू बी इम्प्रूवड थ्रू एग्रीकल्चर इट हैज टू बी स्ट्रेंथन इट्स प्रोग्राम इन सच ए मैनर to better utilize the natural resources along with the balanced use of chemical fertilizers and other inputs for increasing the food production to fulfill the food requirements of the burgeoning population of the country sustainability of agriculture and environmental safety are the priority issues to avoid wastage of precious national resources and to minimize the environmental damage there is need to be develop and demonstrate balanced use of chemical fertilizers this will not only improve the crop production in sustainable way but also economize the crop production higher food production needs higher amount of plant nutrients is no single source is capable of supplying the requirement amount of nutrients integrated use of all sources is a must to supply balanced nutrition to plants what is balanced nutrition balanced fertilization does not mean a certain definite proportion of nitrogen phosphorus and potassium or other nutrients to be added in the form of fertilizer but it has to be taken into account the availability of nutrients already present in the soil crop requirement and other factors like crop removal of nutrients the economics of fertilizers and profitability farmers ability to invest agro techniques soil moisture regime weed control plant protection seed rate sowing time soil salinity alkalinity physical environment microbiological condition of the soil available nutrients status of soil cropping sequence etc it is not a state but a dynamic concept balanced use of plant nutrients corrects nutrient deficiency improves soil fertility increases nutrient and water use efficiency enhances crop yields and farmers income improves crop and environmental quality to reap the benefits of balanced use of plant nutrients it is important to have good quality seed adequate moisture and better agronomic practices with greater emphasis on timeliness and precision in farm operations the balanced use of fertilizers should be mainly focused on increasing crop yield increasing crop quality increasing farm income correction of inherent soil nutrient deficiencies maintaining or improving lasting soil fertility avoiding damage to the environment and restoring fertility and productivity of the land that has been degraded by wrong and exploitative activities in the past in integrated nutrient management system the main components of nutrient supply systems are the organic manures green manures crop residue crop rotation and intercropping involving legumes and cereals bio fertilizers including rhizobium azotovector azospirillum phosphorus solubilizing microorganisms mycorrhizal fungi azolla blue green algae and cyanobacteria all these can serve as an important supplementary source of nutrients along with the chemical fertilizers thus integrated nutrient management system is environmentally non degradable technically appropriate economically viable and socially acceptable now we'll study about integrated nutrient management approach 
द की कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ इंटीग्रेटेड न्यूट्रिएंट मैनेजमेंट अप्रोच इंक्लूड्स फर्स्ट टेस्टिंग प्रोसीजर टू डिटरमाइन न्यूट्रिएंट एवेलेबिलिटी एंड डिफिशेंसी इन प्लांट्स एंड सॉयल विच कैन बी डिटरमाइंड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ प्लांट सिस्टम एनालिसिस विजुअल क्लूज कैन प्रोवाइड इंडिकेशंस ऑफ अ स्पेसिफिक न्यूट्रिएंट डिफिशेंसी फॉर एग्जाम्पल नाइट्रोजन डिफिशेंसी प्लांट्स ए पी आर एस्टेंटेड एंड पेल कंपेयर टू हेल्दी प्लांट्स एंड सेकेंड इज टिश्यू एनालिसिस एंड सॉयल टेस्टिंग वेयर सिम्टम्स आर नॉट विजिबल पोस्ट हार्वेस्ट टिश्यूज एंड सॉयल सैंपल्स कैन बी एनालाइज इन ए लेबोरेटरी एंड कंपेयर्ड विथ ए रिफरेंस सैंपल्स फ्रॉम ए हेल्दी प्लांट सेकेंड इज सिस्टमेटिक एप्रेजल ऑफ कंस्टेंट्स एंड अपॉर्चुनिटीज इन द करंट सॉयल फर्टिलिटी मैनेजमेंट प्रैक्टिसेस एंड हाउ दिज रिलेट्स टू द न्यूट्रिय डायग्नोसिस फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन सफिशियंट और एक्सेसिव यूज ऑफ फर्टिलाइजर्स वुड हैव सम प्रॉब्लम्स इन द सॉयल सो इट शुड बी करेक्टेड थर्ड एसेसमेंट ऑफ प्रोडक्टिविटी एंड सस्टेनेबिलिटी ऑफ फार्मिंग सिस्टम्स डिफरेंट क्लाइमेट सॉयल टाइप्स क्रॉप्स फार्मिंग प्रैक्टिस एंड टेक्नोलॉजीज डिक्टेट द करेक्ट बैलेंस ऑफ न्यूट्रियंट्स नेसेसरी Once these factors are understood, appropriate integrated nutrient management technologies can be selected. And fourth, participatory farmer-led integrated nutrient management technology experimentation and development. The need for locally appropriate technologies means that farmer involvement in the testing and analysis of any integrated nutrient management technology is essential. in integrated nutrient management system for balanced application of nutrients fertilizers soil testing is one of the important tools which is to practice balanced fertilization balanced fertilizers rates differ from area to area and also from crop to crop through soil testing farmers can know how much and what kind of fertilizer to use for each crop a further refinement in fertilizer dose is possible on the basis of type of crop and its variety water availability and its quality availability of organic manures crop residue and bio fertilizers etc so this was all about integrated nutrient management now my presentation ends here hope this presentation will be very very useful to all of you i have given here my youtube channel details journey with vijay kumar srivastava the link is provided having request please visit the channel subscribe it and provide your kind and valuable feedback for further improvements thank you